What if we told you that your favorite retail stores are under siege? Yes, you heard that right. The retail industry is grappling with an unprecedented rise in theft, forcing many stores to shut down operations. This isn't just about shoplifting by customers. It's also about theft by store employees and the widespread stealing of shopping carts from parking lots. Consider the situation in cities like San Francisco, Los Angeles, and New York. Here, retailers are experiencing frequent organized thefts, where groups enter stores and clear out high-value items. This has escalated to the point where even major chains like Target and smaller dollar stores are considering closures due to the unsustainable losses. Imagine this. Target recently apprehended a group stealing approximately $74,000 worth of skincare products. This isn't an isolated incident, but indicative of a nationwide problem. Even 99 cent stores are feeling the heat. They're planning to close all 371 of their locations. Originally, these closures were attributed to profitability issues. Now they're being linked directly to rampant theft and the subsequent need to raise prices, which further erodes their market competitiveness. The theft extends beyond store interiors. Parking lots have become battlegrounds where customers are robbed of their purchases at gunpoint. This unsettling trend increases direct losses from theft and contributes to a growing sense of insecurity among both customers and retail employees. The fallout from this retail crisis is extensive. There's a noticeable decline in the workforce willing to engage in retail jobs, especially in areas with high incidents of theft and violence. Retail workers, according to a recent poll, express greater fear of active shooters and violent thefts than other workplace risks. This fear is contributing to a labor shortage in the sector, exacerbating the operational challenges for businesses. But the implications don't stop there. The theft issue is contributing to a broader economic impact. Authorities in various states have reported significant organized crime rings involving retail thefts that span multiple states and involve substantial financial losses. These criminal enterprises not only affect the businesses, but also pose significant risks to the communities they operate within. So how are retailers responding? They're altering store hours, hiring more security personnel, and in some cases, closing down stores permanently. The long-term implications are dire. As stores close and jobs are lost, communities lose essential services and economic vitality. This issue, if unaddressed, threatens to reshape the retail landscape dramatically, leading to increased prices and reduced physical retail options for consumers. As we navigate this crisis, there is a critical need for a coordinated response. This involves law enforcement, community support, and perhaps more importantly, effective legal measures to deter theft and safeguard businesses. Without such interventions, the trend of store closures is likely to continue, altering the way Americans shop and access daily necessities. Remember, this is not just about the retailers, it's about the communities they serve and the people who work there. So the next time you shop, stay vigilant, support your local retailers, and most importantly, remember that every small action can make a big difference. So hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video. It's time to spread the word and make a change.